Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I am going to be trying out two baking powders on my face. So I'm going to be comparing Huda Beauty's baking powder to the original Beauty Bakery baking powder. And the reason why I am comparing these two powders is because there is a lot of controversy with Huda Beauty's launch. This is Huda Beauty's packaging right here. And this is the Beauty Bakery packaging right here. So I don't know. there's a lot of controversy with Huda Beauty's uh, marketing and kind of promo for this powder being very similar and almost kind of like a ripoff of Beauty Bakery's theme. So this is the Huda Beauty package and the package is very similar to her foundation packaging. This is the packaging for her foundation. It kind of is the same for the powder. And when it comes to the packaging of the product and the actual like naming of the product, I don't think it's any bit similar to the beauty bakery powders like honestly if i never saw the launch photos and i just saw the powder and um saw the beauty bakery powder i would not think there was any correlation i would not think anything of it the only reason why it was controversial was because of her um advertising and marketing promo promotions or whatever so the actual packaging of beauty bakery is bakery based it is a flour powder whereas this is just easy bake loose baking powder and it says better not bitter on here which is kind of ironic and funny so the, um the beauty bakery packaging is also a bag of flour whereas huda beauty's package is just a box with her you know name on it so i don't think that the actual product is an identical like ripoff type of thing i think it was just the marketing so we're just gonna go into the product at this point so the powder i got was in the shade kanufa and it is a yellowish powder i wanted a yellow powder and for beauty bakery i also got a yellow powder so I'm just going to open up this powder. This is how it opens up. Thought. And then inside there is a little cap here. And this is the product. So let's see. It has one of those net things where you can kind of bounce the powder in here. I'm not always the biggest fan of the net situation, but let's just see how this is. This powder feels very, very fine and it's pretty yellow. So I'm just going to apply some under my left side, the left side of my face. This has the same smell of, of the foundation where the foundation, like I didn't really mind it, but with the powder... I don't know if I like that. The smell kind of went away very quickly. It's a very strong perfumey smell. Um, so far, I do like the way this looks. It looks really nice. I'm gonna apply some down here. This powder is said to be a bacon and set in powder and Beauty Baker's powder, I believe is a set in powder. Now, I'm just gonna apply this one on my forehead just because um, it is the one that is newer, I guess. I don't know. So I apply this one on my forehead. Comes down here as well. So this is what the Huda Beauty powder is looking like. It looks really good. It is very, very fine. I love the color of it. The smell is the only thing that at this point that I do not like. But everything else looks really good. It doesn't look too dry and it doesn't feel too... Um, mattifying or anything like that it feels very natural the finish is really really nice so now on the other side of my face the right side I'm gonna be using the Beauty Bakery flower better not bitter I do like this packaging um, packaging wise I prefer this type of packaging just because I feel like this packaging gets a lot more messy it's or it's already getting messy and it's been two seconds so I don't really like this packaging just because it shakes around and it just gets more messy this one is more controlled it has it has a little, it has some holes here and then this side you can turn this to close it or open it. So I do prefer this type of packaging. This powder is not as yellow as the Huda powder. Hopefully they do create more yellow shades in the future. So I'm going to use the other side of the sponge to apply this powder. So this is the Beauty Bakery powder and... 
Although it's not as yellow, I do still like it. I'm gonna put some on my eyelid. The Beauty Bakery powder is definitely more matte than the Huda Beauty powder. So I do have oily combination skin, so I appreciate a matte powder. I pretty much like any powder as long as it's not one that's gonna promote oiliness. <laughs> um, I am a fan of any set in powder that keep my oils either normal or controlled, I'm okay with. As long as they're not gonna make my, my face more oily, I'm okay with it. We're good, you know. No dewy, no dewy powders over here. We don't do dewy powders on this side of town. Okay, I'm gonna apply some to my nose. So my entire face is powderized and baked. So I do like both of the powders. I love the yellow tone on this one a little bit more, but honestly, they look so identical. It's hard to tell that this one is any more yellow. This yellow is more natural looking. It doesn't look yellow. It looks like you have a slight tint, but it's not too dramatic, which I do love as well. So originally, I, I kind of wanted it to be more yellow, but looking at this side of my face, I actually do really appreciate how mellow this yellow is because it doesn't look like jaundice. Not saying this looks jaundice, I'm just saying it. It looks very natural and I do really like it. And I didn't think I would like the yellow being that light. So I do really like this side a lot. I do like that it's more um, matte than this side. Think if you have drier skin, you might not like this powder because it is more matte. So overall, so far, I do like both powders. I do think they are both really nice and flattering on the skin. They're both very finely milled powders. When it comes to the pros and the cons, the cons with the Beauty Bakery powder, so far I really have no cons. I don't see anything wrong with the packaging. The packaging is really cute and I love this packaging a lot for setting powders. It's just controlled and the situation doesn't get as messy. I do love the coloring a lot, which I didn't think I would like as much, but I really, really love this coloring. I love the way it applied. It's not super dusty or anything like that, which some setting powders can be. And I really, really like it. The price point is also really good and the shipping was quick. With the Huda Beauty side, I do not like the packaging at all. Like I hate the net packaging. It just has never been my favorite from eyeshadows to powders. Anything with this net in there, I really do not like it at all. I might actually cut this net out because the net, I just feel like there might as well just not be a net because it just really bugs me. The yellow in is really nice. There are options with this powder, so I can go lighter if I wanted a, a yellow to be more like this one. I can go lighter, so there are more color options, which is good, um, but... I wanted a yellow powder, so this is what I picked out, obviously. Um, I do like the color. Uh, it is not as mattifying as the Beauty Bakery powder, so on a hot summer day, this one will definitely be more useful for me with oily combination skin than this one that looks more natural. I do think they are both great powders. I would recommend the Beauty Bakery powder over the Huda, Be over Huda Beauty for packaging, and if you have oily combination skin, or just oily skin. It's not clinging to any of my dry patches or anything like that. It's not that type of drying of a powder, but it definitely is more oil control and just looking at it and seeing how it is on my skin, how it's laying on my skin. And they both lay, they both lay really nice. They both create this beautiful canvas. So I do like that about both powders. When it comes to the whole conspiracy and the whole controversy of these powders i think beauty bakery's better not bitter sums it up best originally i did see where she was going with the whole bakery theme and you know being in the bakery and i also really like to give people the benefit of the doubt like a lot of times when people seem to be clearly being you know like or rip ripping somebody off or just being shady a lot of times do give people the benefit of the doubt although i see it i kind of like you know maybe not maybe that's where you know they were just really honestly going with a bakery theme because it is a called a bacon powder that's what we've called it in makeup forever you know bacon powders it makes sense that she would do a bacon theme but just seeing these pictures over and over and over again and all different you know pictures of her in this bakery I slowly started to see where everyone else was coming from and I'm just kind of like, you know what, you know, this, this kind of looks kind of bad. So anyways, you guys, that is it for my spiel on these two powders. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And the Beauty Bakery powder is great as well. I can't believe I took so long to try it out. So I will try it out with the foundation. I do have the foundation. Um, I've had the foundation for a while. So I will try it out with that to see how it works. And I will try the Beauty the Huda Beauty with the Huda Beauty foundation as well. So 
I want to see how those two work with each other's products as well. Anyway, you guys, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.